So this is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot.com and I wanted to introduce everyone to the new Go. PrinterBot Go version 2, but we'll just call it the PrinterBot Go. Now this is quite a difference from the first Go that we did. This has all of our best equipment on it. Um, it's not metal, it's wood. Uh, right now it's not showing with the case. We'll have a case. But it is a very large bot. We've got, uh, I think it's almost 9 inches by 16 inches by almost 9 inches. So we're going to call it 8 by 8 by 16. So uh, it is very large. Now it, it does fold up. So that bed right there actually folds into the profile right there. It folds up and then there's a you know it'll actually have a cover kind of like an old sewing machine case. Now a couple of interesting things about it. One is it uh, is running off a of Raspberry Pi right now. I don't know if you can see it. Oh it's hidden. There's a false bottom and you can get to the Raspberry Pi from underneath. It's running off a printer board. Um, it uses 12 millimeter bars uh, it it has uh, these uh, Z blocks that we used to call Z blocks, but this is for the X. So 12 millimeter bars. All the bars go into metal, so it's perfectly perpendicular milled. We have new 12 millimeter bearing sleeves here and here, so you can see that greatly simplified uh, X carriage. It is large enough to do our two, our dual extruder, or even a triple extruder. And you can do that because there's a motor here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a motor on this side and a motor on this side. So it's the first time I've done a dual uh, X motor. Of course, the Z is dual motor, as always. Got a nice couplers on there. And then, believe it or not, uh, it uses two motors on the Y as well. And I really did that for speed. Uh, it also helps with rigidity. Um, right now we've got eight millimeter bars on the Y, but I fully intend to do, um, we'll see, don't make me promise, but I wanted to do uh, 12 millimeter bars on the uh, Y as well. So it'll be fully 12, mil 12 millimeter. It's just super rigid on the X. Uh, we tried eight and it was really sagging. So we're not, we're not driving it at its top speed right now, um, but it, we do use glass here for the first time. Uh, it's really flat. It is PLA only, although you could easily um, buy one of those silicon uh, heaters and do that for the, you know, I just didn't want to have to mess with ABS. But it's pretty sweet. <laughs> Really, I wanted a larger bot that allowed uh, me to do some very large parts because we've been printing some larger parts. And this is a system that if I wanted to go larger, taller, wider, everything is really kind of dialed uh, to just extend up bigger. I can't imagine going much deeper on deeper than 8 or 9 or 10 inches on the Y uh, because I wanted to be able to fold up. So... So that notch right there, um, that will be in the center to the top, folds up. I'll show you that later, but I wanted to go ahead and put a teaser out and show you guys that are interested that the Go V2, you'll see some official photos on our website. We will get it up for sale next week. It will be our most expensive bot yet because I literally threw the kitchen sink at it every upgrade and... Um, bit of equipment I could find you know what I mean it's just it's super rigid and it's portable and it goes to th you can go all the way to three extruders it's just gonna be cool so it's not for everybody but for those that are interested uh, meet the printer bot go v2